Good day everyone! So in this video lesson, we will discuss about rights expression with rational exponents as radicals and vice versa. So our objective, right expression with rational exponent as radicals and vice versa. Okay, so for example, we have a given here the exp in exponential form 27 raised to 1 over 3. And then, kapag nire-write natin into radical, so magiging cube root of 27. So, mamaya, isa-isahin natin kung paano natin i -re write from exponential to radicals. So, ang gawin muna natin, identify muna natin yung parts ng exponential and radicals. So, ang tawag natin kay 27, so alam natin that is the base. Okay? And then, yung one-third, ang tawag natin dyan is exponent. So, sa radicals, yung denominator natin na 3 dito, okay, yung denominator natin na 3, magiging, uh, ano yan, malalagay mo yan dito. So, ang tawag natin dyan ay index, okay? So, magiging index yung denominator ng fractional, yung exponential ito, no? yung fraction nito. So, yung denominator niya, magiging index. And then, yung symbol na to, kapag nakita nyo yung symbol na yan, ang tawag natin dyan is radical sign. Okay? So, pag na-encounter nyo yung symbol na yan, ang tawag natin dyan, radical sign. And then, ang tawag natin sa 27 or yung nasa loob ng radical sign, ang tawag natin dyan is radicant. Okay? So, remember, Oh, so, pag binasa natin to, this is a cube root of 27. So, again, pag binabasa natin to, this is cube root of 27. So, remember, class, that if m and n are positive integers, so, that are relatively prime, so, and let a be a real number such that the nth root of a, so, n root of a, define in real numbers, then a raised to m over n is equal. So, kapag trinans, uh, rewrite natin into radical form, si a raised to m over n, so, pwede, sa gani, pwede siyang ganyan or pwede ganito. Okay, so, n root of a, so, ang base natin magiging radicand, and then, yung denominator natin dito magiging index, and yung numerator nito ay magiging uh, power nitong uh, in ra yung base natin na A. Okay? So, maging exponent siya nung base natin na A. Or, pwede rin ganito, N root of A raised to M. So, halimbawa, meron tayong 4 raised to 3 over 2. So, kapag nire-write natin into, expon uh, into radical form, so, maging ganyan siya. So, bakit hindi ko na nilagay yung 2 dito? So, magtataka yung iba. Bakit, sir, wala yung index na to eh? Yung denominator niya ay 2. So, kapag ganito class, so, ang basa na kasi natin dito is square root. So, understood na na ang index nito ay 2. So, kapag wala kayong nakikitang index dito na nakalagay, so, understood na yan ay 2. Okay? So, pwede yung isulat ng nakaganito. So, square root of 4 cubed. Okay, or pwede rin ng ganito, the square root of 4 cube. Nandun sa loob ng radical sign yung uh, exponent ng 4. Okay, so pwede ito, pwede rin ito. So alin man sa dalawa ay tama po. So pag binasa natin yan, the square root of 4 cube. Okay, I'll give you an example. Write each of the following in radical form. So, you can express your answer in simplified form. First, a raised to 4 over 5. So, from exponential form to uh, radical form. So, again, kapag nagre-write tayo from exponential, so, kailangan ma-identify natin kung saan yung index natin. Kung ano yung index natin dito. So, kapag ganito class, um, ang index lagi natin is yung denominator. Okay, so, ibig sabihin, ito yung index natin. And then, yung 4 magiging uh, exponent siya ni A. So, paano natin sulat? May dalawang tayo, no? So, it's fifth root of A raised to 4. So, pwedeng ganyan. Okay? Pwedeng ganito yung sagot niyo class. 
So, yung index natin na 5, so mapupunta dito. And then, yung base natin dito, so mapupunta sa loob ng radical sign. And then, yung numerator, mapu uh, mapupunta as exponent ng base. Okay? Or pwede rin nakaganito siya. Parehas lang din yan. So, naka, uh, the quantity of fifth root of A raised to 4. So, same lang din yan. Another example, 50 raised to 1 over 8 or 1 8. So, ano yung index natin dito? Kasi kailangan uh, malinaw sa atin kung ano yung index natin. So, yung index natin is 8. So, ang ilalagay natin, that is the 8th root of 50. So, sir, bakit wala kang, uh, walang 1 dito? So, understood na kapag wala kang nakita exponent, so, ang ano nyan, ang exponent is 1. Okay? So, hindi na natin nilalagay. Another example, we have 15c raised to 3 over 5. So, 15c raised to 3 over 5. So, sa example na to class, si C3 uh, raised to 3 over 5. So, ito lang yung merong exponential, no? Naka-exponential tayo. So, yung 15 nakahiwalay. So, therefore, ito lang yung ano natin. I'll write into radical form. So, that will be 15. So, ito yung index nya. So, that is fifth root of C cube. Again. So, si 15 ay hindi kasama sa loob, ha? Baka... Yung iba, isasama si 15 sa loob. So, dito lang po. Ito lang pong C3 raised to over 5. So, ang magiging sagot natin, 15. And then, yung index natin is 5. So, magiging 5th root of C cube. So, taging tandaan na ang numerator ay magiging exponent ng base natin. So, ang base lang niya dyan ay C. Hindi kasama si 15. So, the answer, or pwede rin ganito, 15, tapos naka-open and close parenthesis, yung 5th root of C uh, raised to 3, or the 5th root of C cube. Okay, another example, we have M, P raised to 1 half. So, kagaya ito ng example natin num sa number 3, no? Si M ay hindi kasama. So, ito yung uh, i-rewrite natin into radical form. So, that is M square root of P. Bakit uh, walang index to? Kasi class, uh, yung index natin ay 2. Diba kapag ganyan, uh, understood na yung index niya ay 2. So therefore, the answer is M square root of P. Okay. More example. The quantity of A plus B raised to 4 over 5. Okay. So my Meron tayong a plus b raised to 4 over 5. So, paano natin yan isulat in radical form? So, since ito ay magkasama, so, dapat pag, uh, dito, pag uh, sinulat natin in radical form, naka-enclose din ng parenthesis yan. Kasi, ibig sabihin nun, magkasama sila. Kasi, uh, kapag walang parenthesis, so, pwedeng ang nilagyan mo lang ng uh, exponent na 4 ay yung kay si b lang. So, dapat magkasama sila. So, malinaw naman na yung index natin is 5. And then, yung numerator natin is 4. So, that will become the power of A plus B. Or yung maging exponent ng A plus B. Or, pwede rin ganito. Okay? So, alin man sa dalawa ay tama. Another example. 3 M raised to 4 N. Or the quantity of 3 M raised to 4 N. Uh, raised to 2 third So, paano natin gawin yan? Yes, kagaya nung sa number 5 Ito ay magkasama rin sila So, yan, magkasama rin sila Pero class, ito ang 3 squared Ay pwede pa natin yan masimplify Okay, masisimplify pa natin to Paano? So, again So, alam natin na yung 3 squared So, that is 3 times 3 Kaya siya 9 and then, applying the uh, power of a power, diba, sa law of exponent. So, minumultiply natin yung exponent sa loob dun sa uh, exponent sa labas. So, that is 4 times 2, kaya naging m raised to 8. And then, n, so ang exponent nito is 1. 1 times 2, that is 2. So, therefore, the answer is a cube root of uh, 9m raised to 8n squared. So, it, this will be the uh, final answer. 
So, another example, we have 2MN raised to 2 fifth. Okay, so, magkasama yung 2MN raised to 2 or 2MN squared or fifth root of 2MN squared. So, kagaya na ginawa natin sa number 6, so, mas simplify pa natin to. So, 2 squared is equal to 4. And then, yung m, so, ang exponent ito is 1. So, 1 times 2, kaya naging 2 to. And then, ganun din kay n. So, 1 times 2, that is 2. So, therefore, the final answer is 3. Uh, the cube root of 4, m squared, n squared. Okay, I think this uh, another uh Last one example for writing exponential to radical form. 16 raised to 2 cube. 16 raised to 2 cube, so that is cube root of uh, 16 squared. Pero kapag sinimplify natin yung 16 squared, that is 256. So ngayon class, uh, sa mga susunod na lesson natin, marami tayong i-discuss about sa ganitong case. Pero ngayon, uh, simulan ko na, no? binigyan ko na kayo ng isang halimbawa. Dito class, pwede pa natin ito masimplify. Why? So, alam natin that 256 is equivalent to 64 times 4 or equal to 64 times 4. And then, si 64, pwede natin i-rewrite as 4 cube. So, 4 cube, that is 64 times 4, still 256. So, bakit ginanito natin? Okay, bakit ginanito natin? Para uh, makuha natin, okay, pakita ko sa inyo ha. So, itong 256, pwede natin i-rewrite as 4 cubed times 4. Kasi, makukuha natin ito, yung sagot dito. Ibig sabihin, yung cube root ng 4 cube, so, maka-cancel natin yan. Itong kapag ang exponent mo dito ay same dun sa index, so, pwede maka-cancel and then, ilalabas mo yung base mo dito. Okay? Ilalabas mo yung base mo dyan. So, magiging, ang sagot na lang, so, maiwan na lang dito sa loob ng radical sign mo is yung 4. Kasi nga, itong exponent natin ay maka-cancel. So, therefore, uh, makakalabas tong 4 na to doon sa uh, labas ng radical sign natin. Therefore, the final answer is 4 cube root of 4. So, yeah, this will be the answer. Okay, ito naman eh, kabalik taran from radical to rational form, okay? Or in exponential form, no? So, first, the quantity of cube root of 5 to the 4th power. So, cube root of 5 to the 4th power. So, paano natin uh, isulat into exponential form, Okay? So, that is 5. So, yung nasa loob ng radical sign natin, yan yung base natin. And then, yung index natin magiging, yes, denominator. And then, yung power natin na 4 magiging numerator. So, ganun lang kasimple. So, tandaan, the index 3 is the denominator and the power 4 is the numerator of the fractional exponent. Okay, tandaan, ganyan ang kasimple from radical to exponential form. Another example, we have 6 root of 75 raised to 5. 6 root of 75 raised to 5. So, paano gawin yan? So, yung base natin is 75. And then, yung index natin dito ay 6. And then, yung exponent natin is 5. So, again, yung index natin magiging denominator. And then, yung exponent natin dito magiging numerator. So, that is 75 raised to 5 over 6. Another example, we have the quantity of square root of 21 or square root of 21 raised to 7. So, again, kapag wala kayong nakikitang index, so, understood ang index nito ay 2. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung magiging base natin. And then, kung 2 yung index, so yan ang magiging denominator. And then, yung C, uh, 7, that will become the numerator of fractional exponent. So, the answer is 21, 7 over 2. Again, kapag wala kayong nakikita ang index dito, so ang index natin dyan is 2. Okay, another example. Cube root of x plus 2. 
So, yung cube root ng x plus 2, so dapat magkasama yung x plus 2. Kapag uh, nire-write natin into rational or into exponential form. So, that is, so dapat naka-enclose ng parenthesis. And then, since wala tayo ditong exponent, okay? Wala, hindi naka-raise yung x plus 2 sa exponent. So, understood na exponent nito ay 1. Kaya, yung numerator natin is 1. And then, yung index natin is 3. So, yung denominator natin is 3. So, therefore, that is the quantity of x plus 2 raised to 1 third. So, number 5. The cube root of 3b squared. The cube root of 3b squared. So, itong 3b ay magkasama. So, ito yung exponent natin at ito yung index natin. So, itong numerator, denominator. So, 3b, so enclose nyo na ng parenthesis, parenthesis yan. And then, raise to 2 third. Another example, we have the square root of 2ab cubed. The square root of 2ab cubed. So, pwede uh, sabayan nyo ako sa pagsagot. Okay? So, paanong, anong mangyayari? Ano yung, ano niya sa exponential form? That is, so, ito ay base natin. So, dapat magkasama sila. Okay, 2ab raised to 3 over 2. Kasi nga, wala tayong, kapag ganito, ba ulit-ulit na ako na ang index nito ay 2. Kaya, ang denominator natin dito is 2. Another example, we have 2, Fourth root of m. So, yung 2 ay wala na, hindi siya kasama sa loob, ha? Nasa labas na yung 2. So, 2, fourth root of m. So, anong magingyari dyan? So, yung m lang natin, yung i-rewrite into rational form. So, that is 2, m, since wala tayong exponent dito, uh, understood na 1. So, yung numerator natin is 1, and the index is 4. So, 2m raised to 1 fourth. Okay, another example, we have cube root of x squared, y cube, z to the fourth power squared. Okay, so magkasama dapat ito. Ito yung numerator natin at ito yung denominator natin. And then magkasama yung buong in, uh, radicand natin. So, raised to 2 cube, uh, 2 third rather. So, ngayon, pwede pa natin ito masimplify. Paano? Imumultiply natin itong a uh, exponent natin dun sa a uh, exponent natin sa labas. So, yung tinatawag natin, di ba, na power of power rule. So, 2 times 2 third, so that will become 4 cube. Tama? Then, 3 times 2 third, so maka-cancel yung 3, kaya 2 na lang. Kaya naging y squared. 4 times 2 third, so that is 4 times 2, 8 over 3. So, therefore, the answer is x raised to 4 over 3, y squared z eight of, uh, raised to 8 over 3. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.